Hey there friends and video game fans, Head Got Shanked here, bringing you another episode of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, this old uh, weird point and click adventure game from the 90s. I have to admit, I did glance I've got to face the yellow. at a walkthrough. So I learned that I can actually pick up the yellow fabric if I try it twice. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of that. But looks like she's learning to face her fears. So. Just the right size to use as a blindfold. If I'm uh -huh. gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Maybe we can take the... I can't see it! No, take the gem. Aha. This sapphire loose got it so maybe we can take the blindfold off now okay so what she said there makes me think that we can go and get past that centaur lion tar sphinx thing whatever it is oh, I can't go any further without a drink but I can't reach the water yep so, we're gonna put the. If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Put the headband on or the blindfold. Sphinx is gone. Don't hear him anywhere. Mutes the hell out of all the yellow too. Now where's that big loving cup? <sighs> Never could have done this if hm. I had to look that bloody beast in the eye. Glad he's off snoozing somewhere. Okay, now that I got the cup, what do I do with it? Freaking weird. Uh. Can't see a damn thing. Well, yeah, let's take the blindfold off. Okay. I can't go any further. So I think we can use the cup with the water. Yeah. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Fantastic. Let's just examine this. It might be a trick. Okay, got my libation. Champagne and the yellow grail. <laughs> Let's try down below one more I do not know what she means by that, but let's drink the water. Don't let mm, it be poison. That was great. Best champagne I ever had. I need another. Okay, I'm gonna save my game here because I she's making me nervous. Like this could be some kind of a uh, a trick. I'm very very suspicious. Just reaches. Now I. Can. Okay. Even better. I'm gonna fill it up and take one for the road. Okay, that's a good idea. Just reaches. Okay, so we've got one for the road. That's fine. Want to know how much I don't want to go down there? Do it anyway. Ah, uh, I wonder if we give him the water. Oh. The water shorted up the statue's circuitry. Oh, but now I need to learn the code, though. Uh. I used to be so. Nothing's happening. Darn it. Um. I remember when my own. Nothing's happening. Okay. No, I still don't know the numbers that I need to press. Okay. So... What's in this room again? Oh no. I'm yellow! Oh, another panic attack. Okay. Well... Let's try this. Oh, no. Yellow! There was... Oh, huh. panic attack. Even with the blindfold on? Even with the blindfold on. <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. Well. We have this gem. So we can put this gem in the workstation. Absolutely. Glows like a baby doll. Pucker up, little workstation. Okay. And what does this mean now? Raw EEPROM burning station. Insert ROM chip into socket. Great. Haven't got that either. Great. Where am I going to get the ROM chip? I wonder if the statue of Anubis... Maybe we can push him over? This sucker must weigh a ton. All right. Use forceps with the statue. Come to Mama Ellen, little ROM chip. Nice. Yeah, come that easy. Must be reprogrammable. All right, Ellen. You and I are going to get through this. Insert the ROM chip with the workstation. Little yellow ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Okay. Anubis Guardian version 1.0. Designate new master. Interesting. Who? I'm not sure. That's a tough choice. I'm gonna go with humanity. That seems more altruistic. Okay. So haven't the ROM lost chip. my touch. Pulled out the ROM chip without bending any of the contacts. Good job. All right. Back where you belong, little Rom Chip. Okay, so let's see what he has to say now. Now who's the master? Now who's the master? I serve you. Neato. So... Okay, so what's the access code? The access code is 666. <laughs> it figures. So? Can you help me with anything? You cannot escape your fears. You can only confront them. Okay. Let's see what's in the psych profile now. Historical data. The Egyptians believed that when the deceased entered the Wall of Judgment, their hearts were judged to determine if their deeds in life were righteous. Oh, she didn't like reading that. Uh-oh. Look at her face. She's upset by that. Okay. Sounds like a lock mechanism release. So now we can open the sarcophagus, I bet. And there we go. Let's look inside. It's so confining inside. Okay, well. Is it a tunnel or is it actually just a sarcophagus? Oh. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. way out. <sighs> Just the control panel and the buttons for the floors. I'm gonna suffocate if I stay in here. I want out! Pile of clothes. Hell of a place to leave a pile of dust cloths. Mm, well. 
Well, let's take them. What? Why, why won't she take them? Weird. Just rags. Yellow rags. I can see that from here. I don't need to touch them. Do it. Maybe she could do it with the blindfold on. No. I'm not touching anything without taking a good look at it first. <laughs> now you say that. I'm really... Hell of a place to... Really not sure why those clothes are there, but... Well, let's see what we can do with the panel. Holy crap. Okay, so we know 2001 is an important you year. You your master's. Combined degree in computer science and engineering. You had a greater facility with algorithms than with social grace. You have had sex only twice in your life. Okay. How about 2006? You had to make a living. You applied at Ingsci Engineering. Your credentials were still good, and you made a good impression. And the woman who hired you also lost a child. Your hopes were reawakened. Oh, but now what? Um... You left your office after working late at the Ingsci Corporate Headquarters building. The elevator stopped at the seventh mm -hmm. floor for a maintenance man. To your horror, he inserted his key into the control panel and locked the elevator. <sighs> oh, what? I'm back, Ellen. Oh, sweet Jesus! It's him! You thought you had blocked me out of your memory forever, except for those inconvenient attacks of hysteria every now and then. But I've returned for Oh, shit. The yellow! Ah, yes. My calling card. Always the yellow jacket, the yellow boots. My maintenance man disguise gave me access to office buildings all over Manhattan. Not just yours. The box! So you do remember me getting onto the elevator that night. Do you also remember the blood? The screams? Oh my god. How many hours was it? No, it's not possible. Poor Ellen. Too proud of your accomplishments to admit you could be so overpowered by a slime ball like me. You couldn't even bring yourself to testify at my trial with the 20 other women. Okay. Wow. How? Oh, how? Ham gave me the chance to be with you forever. Oh my I god. I waited in the sarcophagus until you arrived. What's a mere hundred years of waiting compared to an eternity of torturing you? Again, and again, and again, and again. I've waited oh, so long for the taste of you again. But in my tomb, I've grown stronger. Now you will remember more than the color of my clothing. Oh my god, do I run away, fight back, or give up? I can't escape. I'm gonna fight. Don't count on it, you mother. So the sarcophagus was the way out of here. Nice trick. Enter on one level, emerge on another. My god. I can't see the ceiling. Clouds up there. This has to be Anne's central core. It's two miles high at least. Damn. The logo? I recognize this. 
It's the logo for the original Allied Master Computer Project. Okay. Up to the exit. Can I... I don't see anything else I can do. There's nothing else to click on. Wiring. Yes. Almost overlooked these wires. Looks like the data transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. I don't want to tug on any wires. Can't be sure what they're connected to. Hmm. Okay. Save my game again. And... What did we do before? Use the wiring? These wires definitely lead to an output device, but what kind? Uh... We'll use them. These wires... Hmm. What good will pushing it do? Better not take it apart. Some component might burn up, and I'd be stuck if I needed it later. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything she's willing to do. So, but we still have the blindfold. It's very interesting. Now we're back here. Oh, man. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, now she knows that... Now she knows she won't need it to escape, so we might as well just better not take it apart. Some uh. These wires definitely No idea. Okay. But now we've just gone in a big old circle, so what could it mean? Cataclysmic failure prove the principle correct? Classified information. Access denied. Hmm. Security lockout override by two to one majority. Accessing schematics. What? Okay, schematics. I'm good, but I'm not that good. What the hell am I looking at? That would be telling. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? Nasty, nasty, Ellen. All right, I'll give you a nudge in the right direction. These are the schematics for a device that translates binary into human speech, as ugly as that may be. Huh. And what do you call this device? I call it Bernie. You're on your own. Hey, wait a minute, computer. Are you there? Where the hell are you? I think I can wire this thing together if I can find a speaker somewhere. Uh-huh. So? Okay. Then what have I got? 
All right. So I definitely know where we can get a speaker. Come to Mama. Okay. Now I wonder if that strange looking know how much claw machine, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that strange claw machine thing is what we use to build it. Now what am I supposed to do with No, okay. I guess we'll just go back to the computer then. Okay. I didn't even realize that that was a... Nothing else here. Yes, there is. There's a compact disc right there. Take the compact disc. Nothing else here. What? Why are you giving me this? I can't see it! You can't see it with the blindfold off! Hmm, that's... Well, I'm going to say we're just about out of time. So maybe we'll make a new save. Ellen. Two. Probably should have done that earlier. <sighs> but okay, so yeah, that's it for tonight. So my name's Headgut Shanked, and the game is I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good night.